Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, today I'm just going to be doing yet again another video. Uh, like I said in my la latest video, I'm going to try to be posting a lot of videos here in the next week or two because of my failure pr to produce videos in the past weeks. But um, yeah, so today I'm basically just going to be doing a simple video on how to get this Windows phone theme. Uh, the theme itself is still in beta. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button there. The theme itself is still in beta, but it is honestly a really great theme with all the little live panels, really nice coloring. If you have a newer iPhone unlike mine, it'll probably work a little better. But uh, yeah, so basically I'm just going to be doing a video over this theme. So continue watching and I'll show you how to set it up and how to download it. Thanks. Alright guys. So to continue our video, the first step you're going to want to take is you're going to want to go to Cydia, wherever it is on your iDevice, and you're going to want to open it up. Pause it for a second because it usually takes a while. Alright guys, so after your Cydia loads, basically what you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here into search. Sorry, it took a moment. Give me one second. There's the directions right there. I'll be posting those in the description. And basically, guys, what you're going to be doing is uh, downloading an app that backs up your current springboard status. And uh, this app will also allow you to uh, choose between your regular one and then the... Uh, OS 7 Windows Phone theme itself. Just give me one second. Sorry, I just typed it in twice. I gotta erase it. Here, I'll resume. I'll pause the video right now and then I'll just resume it after I stop messing up with my typing. Alright, guys, so um, basically what you're gonna wanna do is search for this app right here. It's called Backboard, and then uh, you'll just go in, tap it. And then uh, up here in the right corner, mine says modify, but yours will say install. And you're just going to want to install that. And uh, once you install that, you're just going to want to go to the home screen. Give me one second. Scroll to wherever the app itself is. Okay, no thanks. That's one downside of this theme. It uh, always asks you to donate to the uh, author of it. I mean, you probably should, and I th I'm thinking about doing it, but yeah, it's just kind of annoying. And uh, you see right there, that one, that's basically what you're going to make. And then that one right there is what you're going to download. So you're going to want to go down in here and click the, the little addition button, the plus sign. And after you do that, it's going to pop up a little name of the theme, and you're just going to want to put like, Hi, hey, hola, mine's hola. Just put something really random and then just click this button right here, create. I'm just going to go and click cancel because I've already done that. Sorry about that. And then um, after you do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over into your Safari browser. Give me one second. So basically what you're going to want to do is go into your Safari browser, whatever that may be, on your iDevice. And then you're going to want to go to this URL right here, which I'll have posted in the description. Backboard hyphen forward slash forward slash HTTP uh, hyphen forward slash forward slash bit dot LY slash OS 7 link. And basically what that's going to do when you type it in your iDevice is it's going to redirect your Safari browser again to the Backboard app. And it's going to give you a little pop-up box that says download. What you're going to do is just click on that little box that says download. After it does that, I'll go basically show you what you do after that. One second. Go back and find the backboard. That's going to pull up into the app. Of course, mine isn't doing it because I'm not following along exactly, but I will have directions posted in the description for the video. And you're going to get this right here. After it downloads, you're going to get this. And what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to click delete. 
uh, or update, although you will need to update it every now and then because like I said, the theme itself is in beta. So what you're going to do is click install, then after you click install, I'll just click it to click it. This little message right here will pop up. Click confirm or cancel. You're going to want to click confirm. And then after you do that, it will basically install it and it will give you a little message that says complete. Would you like to respring? You're going to want to click respring, which is the button right there on the left. I, however, am going to click cancel. You want to go after it resprings, unlock your iDevice. And it will look something like this because what do you know? It sets it up for you. And yes, it is one of the greatest themes I have had, honestly. Um, I am a fan of the Windows Phone itself. Well, actually, just the, the look of it. But, yeah, it sets it up for you, and then you can go in, and you can hold hold down, unpin it from your main screen, or you can go into your list of apps on the second page by clicking the arrow up at the top right. Sorry, I missed it. Just scroll through whatever you want on your home page. Just hold it. And then a message will pop up that says pin to start menu, which will basically be your main home screen. And then it will just automatically go in on here. Like as you can see, I have Pandora, Cydia, Messages, Phone, YouTube, and Settings. And then all the rest of it up here is default set default with theme. Sorry, I accidentally clicked something there. But yeah, other than that. That is basically how to set up the um, Windows Phone 7 theme, OS 7. It's really easy, really simple. I will have directions posted within the video description. So if you're interested, just uh, go down there and look in that, and it'll help you a little bit more. Um, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe button. Um, yeah, and please just check out all my other videos. Give me some nice feedback, comments on what I should do next. Uh, thanks for watching, and this is True Tech Productions out. Thanks.